Recently, you guys have been demanding Free Fire content a lot. Like bring a video on Free Fire. Why aren't there any videos on Free Fire provide an emulator for Free Fire, etc. The problem was that every emulator I tried either got stuck at 98% or, even if it launched, Free Fire wouldn't work at all. And I always strive to avoid clickbait in my videos and provide you with a genuine emulator that not only is error-free, but also runs Free Fire smoothly. Finding such an emulator was a bit challenging, but after several weeks of research, I finally found one. I've tested this emulator on my 2GB RAM PC, and it provided me with decent FPS. So, let's start the video. Let's roll. Guys, first of all, let me show you the specs of my PC, so that all your doubts regarding system requirements can be cleared up. Look. My PC has only 2GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now let me show you the graphics card as well. You can see that my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which is not really useful for much. So let's move on to the installation process. The links to download both of these files will be available on my website. If you're unsure how to download them or encounter any problems, I've provided a link to a video tutorial in the description. Feel free to watch that video for guidance on downloading the files. First, we will extract this main file. The second file is also important, but we will deal with it later. The size of the zip file is nearly 1.3 GB, so it may take some time to extract. After extraction, you will see a folder, and from there, you need to create a shortcut for the launcher file on the desktop. Then, right-click on the emulator's icon and go to its properties. Here, you need to set compatibility to Windows 7 and check the box below it. In the next step, you need to launch the emulator. As soon as the emulator opens, you should close it and then extract the second zip file. Once extraction is complete, you need to copy all these files and paste them into the directory where the emulator's engine is located. At this point, our work is almost done, and now we will launch the emulator. After launching the emulator, you should navigate to the Android settings of the emulator and then go to the Apps section. Here, you need to find Free Fire. Click on it, force stop it, and then clear its data. Friends, our work is done and now we will start launching Free Fire. But before that, let me give you a tip. If your game lags or if you encounter performance issues, you can adjust the settings to improve performance. Although these options are usually pre-configured, you can customize them according to your preferences. Now, I'll record the gameplay of Free Fire using Handcam, but before that, let's take another look at my system specs. So, take a look at the system specs once again, and let's launch Free Fire. So friends, as you can see, Free Fire has been launched without any errors, which is great. If you encounter any errors, don't worry. Just clear the app data of Free Fire 4 or 5 times, and your problem will be solved. Now, I've arrived at the login screen, and I'll quickly sign in and then show you the gameplay. Alright, I've entered the lobby, and as you can see, the game is running smoothly even in the lobby. So now, let's play a match. You can see how smooth the gameplay is without any lag at all. Despite having only 2 GB of RAM and no dedicated graphics card, the game runs quite smoothly. The key mapping is also pre-configured, but you can adjust it according to your preferences. Overall, it's a great emulator that you should definitely try out. I enjoyed using it. Let me know in the comments if you liked it too. Also, quickly comment on the topic you'd like for the next video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who want to play Free Fire on their low-end PC. And if you're looking for a low-end Android OS for your 1GB RAM PC, click on the video on the left and I'll see you there. Bye.